Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, give me a like, leave a comment, anything to help my channel out, I appreciate it. Uh, so today I wanna do a video about, I had a question about how, how hard was radiology tech school? And it, it's kind of hard to say, I, I can't say it's hard. It's about, it's just like anything in, in life, you know, you get out of what you put in, you know? So if you're gonna go to school and you just think that all we do is press buttons all day, be like, oh, it does a press button, all right, they don't have to know anything. Then yeah, you, you're not gonna make it, you know, point blank, because it's not that easy. You have to know anatomy, you have to know radiology physics, you have to know patient care, you have to know about the machine, you know, like it's just, it's a lot. It's not, it's not easy. Um, for example, um, and I get this from all the students, like when I started my, radi my radiology program, we started with 25 kids, tw not kids, but 25 students. And in the end, I bet you would not guess how many we had left. We had six. Out of 25 students, we had six left. Um, and I'm not saying because it was a private school when we were like the guinea pigs and we were in JSER accredited, you know, I went to a private school, whatever. But I have, you know, people that went to a uh, public college and a state university and it's the same thing because people, I'm not saying people just, they feel like, oh, I can do radiology. I mean, I'm just gonna go in there and just press a button, but it's not that easy. You know, like, like I said, you have to, first of all, you have to have that wanting to help people. And then, because we're not like nurses, of course, so we don't have to be with the patient like all the time, like for five or six hours at a time. But you do have to deal with patients, you know, patients that are hurt, that, that they don't feel good, they're, they're uncomfortable. You go to do a, an x-ray and then they're like throwing up or they're just like, they can't breathe and they're aggravated. You know, that, that takes a certain soul and a certain person to deal with on a daily basis. You know, you just don't go in there and you just, you know, deal with happy go people and be like, oh, I'm gonna do an x-ray, okay, you know, whatever. It's not that easy, you know, you, you, you're dealing with sick individuals people that need your attention, that need your compassion, that need you to to be there for them and not just be like, oh, I'm gonna just do an x-ray and go home, you know, or I'm gonna just do an x-ray and get out of here. Like, you have to be compassionate. So you have to have a certain soul, a certain, a certain um, personality to deal with that and understand what you're getting yourself into, you know? So no, radiology school is, is like I said, it's not easy, but it's what you put in. If you're gonna sit there every day and be like, look, I'm gonna study, 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 and you're gonna make it. You're gonna, they're, they're, you won't, you won't, when you're 100% committed to something, you will not allow yourself to fail. Put it that way, point blank. You know, you're not gonna, you, you're not gonna sit there and be like, oh, I'm gonna go to college. I already paid my tuition, 10,000. I got my kids depending on me. I got my husband, my wife. You know, I'm trying to be an example for my little brother or my older brother, or I'm trying to be an example for anybody. So when you have that on your shoulders and you have that, you know, carrying yourself, you will not let yourself fail. It's the people that go in there, it's kind of mostly at the younger people that go in there and be like, oh, this is easy. You know, I'm gonna just go in there and do whatever, blah, blah, and they're like, oh, it's not that easy. You know, you do have to put in work. Because you have to think about it, when you go into a program, whether it's nursing, whether it's um, ultrasound, radiology, anything, anything in the medical field, it's like having a job. You're gonna to go to school for two or three days, do book work and then you have to go to a clinical site and work on real patients and be part of the team you know you're not getting paid but you're their payment to you is giving you experience to become a better tech and to be a good tech so that that's their payment to you you're not physically getting paid but you're getting paid as far as you know getting exposed to you know what it is to be a real tech you know so that that's their payment to you but you have to show up on time, if your clinical hour says seven in the morning to three in the afternoon, you better be there at 6.45 and be and expect to to leave around 3.15, 3.30, you know, because when you go to a clinical site, you know, you, you have to think in your mind like, okay, this could possibly be an employer in the future, you know? So, and, and, t and trust me, you know, when I tell you that they remember their texts, I mean, they remember the texts, remember their students. You know, so they're gonna remember you. They're gonna be like, oh, well, so-and-so always came in late. Oh, they always back talk to me and they didn't wanna do what I told them to do. You know, things like that. Like, nobody wants to deal with that. Especially when you're a student, you have to be in there 110%. Like I say, you have to go in early and leave late. 
if your shift ends at three as a student and, a, and something prints out to go do a portable chest, you better not be like, oh, my time's up. No, you have to be like, hey, let's go get this done. But I don't want to leave where well, you have to do this. That is going to stick, you know, and it takes mine. And whenever you apply, the director is going to be like, hey, how was he as a student? Or how was she as a student? And be like, oh, hey, man, he, was, he or she was amazing. You know, they always came in time. They did everything I told them. You know, they stocked up. Whatever, whatever needed to do, they needed to be done, they did it. You know, they'll tell you the bad things too. Oh, this this person wasn't good. He always talked back to me. He was late. You know, he took a lunch for like an hour and a half. He used to call in. He didn't show up all the time. They, hey man, they, they remember all that. So all that has to do with the program. All that has to do with how hard the program is, is how committed are you to getting that done? And, that, and that's just like anything in life. Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to be a better spouse? Whatever, you know, everything has to be with the commitment. So if you go in there and you're committed 100% and you're like, you know what, I'm gonna get this done. I know it's gonna be hard. I know it's not gonna be an easy journey, but it's gonna be a journey that's worth it and it's gonna take me to where I wanna go, you know? So when you have that mindset, going to go into the program already, you already gonna, you're already won. You're gonna, you're gonna be fine, you know? So like, a, like so bottom, bottom line is you get in, you get out of life what you put in, you know? So same thing with the program. How hard you study, that's what you, that's the result you're gonna get. So, like I said, I, I wasn't the smartest student. I would never have been. Um, even when I took my registry, man, I, I I took it twice. You know, I failed it the first time. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go take it again. And physics is the, always the hard part for me, is physics. Physics is tough. I mean, if there's some people that are amazing with physics and that doesn't, you know, phase them. But that was my downfall, was the physics. It was not a downfall, I passed it, but it's still, that was the hardest part for me, you know? So even if you go in there and you be like, you know, if you fail your registry one time, don't don't get discouraged, man. I mean, people take it multiple times all the time and they'll pass it. But anyway, you'll be fine. If you go in there with the mindset that, you know, it's a job, you know, it's not gonna be easy, you know, that it's gonna take determination, motivation, encouragement to get up every day in the morning, especially if you had to drive to school. I had to drive an hour and a half to go to school every day. And I did it because I knew that I wanted that. I knew that I wanted that because I was 27 years old already and I already had, I would come from a small town and I worked everywhere there already, everywhere from correction officer to the to a sugar mill, to grocery stores, to movie galleries, to your McDonald's, like I've worked everywhere. You know, and I just made it a point in my life that I was like, you know what? I'm tired of working on these dead end jobs. I want to be a professional. Anybody can get a job, but for you to be a professional is a whole different ballgame. It's different. You can go to McDonald's and get a job. Nothing wrong with that. You know, you're making money the right way. You're making money. Hey, you know, that's what makes you happy. Then do it. I don't have nothing against that because we need everybody to work everywhere in the world. It's not just about x-ray, radiology, McDonald's, whatever. Everybody has their purpose, right? But I didn't want that for me. You know, I didn't want to just be like, oh, I'm gonna just go work at McDonald's, go work at Walmart, go work here, go work there. I wanted more for myself and I wanted to, I wanted to, what's that word I'm looking for? I wanted to challenge myself and, and, and see if I could make it. You know, if, if, if I was worthy enough to to make it in a hard program. And, and I was, I, I want to teach my kids, man, that just because it's hard doesn't mean it's impossible. I want to leave a legacy for my kids to be like, look, if you want to do something and you want it bad enough, you're going to get it done no matter what, no matter how hard it is. Dude, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't know how many times I cried when I went to school because it was that hard. I'm a man. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm a man. I have feelings. I'm, I'm, I'm human, you know, and sometimes you got so frustrated that you try, you felt like you knew it and you didn't know it. And you're like, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? Like, but there's something inside of you, man, that tells you don't quit. Don't quit because it's gonna be worth it. And to this day, man, I'm, I'm grateful that I went for it, you know? Like, I'm grateful, you know? And um, and it was hard, but now, you know, you you live a good life. Like I say, you're not gonna get rich, you're not gonna sit there and and, and drive a um, Lamborghini or anything as a radiology technologist, but um, you live a good life, man. You live a good life and you provide for your family very well. But um, anyway, I know it's about the program. Like I said, the program isn't, it's not, it's not easy, but if you put your heart, your soul, everything into it, you will pass. You will make it through. 
All right, guys, as, as always, thank you so much for watching my channel. Thank you and...